let's talk about staying positive while having credit card debt. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Debbie and I am a money coach and I love sharing tips on how to save money. I am so excited because today I'm doing a collab with one of my favorite YouTubers, Jan from Jan from New York City Saves Money. If you want positive content, not just about saving money, but life in general, she's your girl. I'm gonna link her channel down below, but you don't get more positive than her. And I'm so excited to do this collab with her. So we we're both gonna be sharing tips on how to stay positive while managing credit card debt. So after you finish watching this video, please head over to Jan's channel and support her and see what tips she has to offer because I have no idea. So when I'm done, that's where I'm gonna go. <laughs> Let's get started. Having credit card debt can be stressful, let's be honest. And the world that we're living in right now with inflation and a recession, the price of everything skyrocketing, it can all be very stressful. Add credit card debt to that mix, that's, you're dealing with a very stressful situation. So I truly believe that one way that we can change that is to change the way that we feel about our debt. I can't name one person right now that has never had a car loan, that has never been in credit card debt, that has never had student loan debt or a mortgage. Debt is a part of life, but it's how you deal with it and what you do with it that can change everything. In case you're not familiar with my story, I got out of a toxic marriage and I had my two little kids. I was left in a house I couldn't afford. I had legal fees I had to pay for and I had never managed money before. So with all that said, years later, I ended up with $48,000 of credit card debt. It was like my survival fund. I don't have anything expensive to show for it. <laughs> kind of wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> so it took me two years to pay it off. And why? Because I made the decision to start. That moment changed my whole projection of my financial life for me and my family. There's a difference between sitting where you are and feeling like nothing is gonna change, so why should you try, to saying, no, heck no. I am deciding right now that I'm going to change the way I deal with money. I'm going to change the way that I feel about money. And I am going to get out of credit card debt. That right there, that's powerful. That is so powerful. And now being a money coach and helping my clients do the same, I see the power in that decision. My clients come to me because they've made that decision and they don't know how to get started and I get them excited about money, which I'm hoping I get you excited about knowing that you can manage your credit card debt without the stress about it. So let's change the narrative so that you start feeling better about your credit card debt and not only get positive about it, but with this information, hopefully you'll make the decision that you're gonna start dealing with it differently. Let's start with credit card interest. Do you know how much interest you pay per credit card? If you just said no, here's what you do. Google credit card interest calculator. You'll see a few that pop up. My favorite is the Discover one. It's completely free. So you click on the Discover. It brings you to a screen. You put in your total debt that you owe that card, that one card. The interest rate, because you're going to have to call up your credit card company and find out what that is if you don't know it and the minimum payment that you are making right now. It will generate a number that will probably shock you. Here's an example that I took from one of my clients' budgets. One of my clients had $10,000 on one credit card and she was paying 22% interest. If she continued to make the minimum payment, it was gonna take her over 11 years and interest alone not including the 10,000 that she owed on the card, interest alone, she was gonna pay over $16,000 of credit card interest. That means that the $10,000 that she charged cost her $16,000. So put it together, in 11 years, she would pay $26,000 on that debt. That's the power of interest. That's why it's important to know what credit cards you have, what interest rate you're paying on so that you can then determine what card you're gonna attack first. And there's different methods on doing it. And I actually have a video of the snowball versus avalanche, and I'm gonna link that at the end to help you out. 
but knowing how much it's gonna cost you in interest can help you decide which avenue you're gonna take so that you can start paying off your debt quicker. Next, the credit card that has the highest interest, get it out of your wallet. Get it out of your wallet. I'm not telling you to shred it because until you have an emergency fund, if God forbid something happens, you might need that card. However, hopefully you do have an emergency fund or something at least stashed away in case of an emergency. But take that card out of your wallet, hide it somewhere. If you have a safe, put it in a safe, put it somewhere, stick it in a drawer. Don't use it because if it's in your wallet, chances are you're going to use it. And if you use it, now you're making that debt increase and you know that that's one of the credit cards that you have the highest percentage of interest on it. So you're making yourself not only get further into debt, but also pay more on that debt. So the one with the highest interest, get it out of your wallet. Next, do you have a budget? If you just said no, I have a free resource that I'm gonna link down below and it's my budget printable. It helps you save money, create an initial budget and also organize your debt so that you can pay it off and save money. And it's completely free and I'll link it down below. But having a budget is so important. And when I say budget, I don't mean a restrictive budget. I help my clients come up with a flexible budget that they can actually get excited about managing money without feeling restricted. And they even have cash available for fun. Like my clients are getting massages. They're going playing golf. Like they're saving up for a vacation and still paying off debt because they're enjoying the process. Budgets do not mean restrictiveness. It doesn't. It depends on how you approach it. So my printable is down below. And if you guys want to work with me, my calendar link is also down below. Feel free to click it and schedule a 30 minute free consultation. I want to see where you are and how I can help you come up with a budget, create habits that support that budget so that you can start paying off debt and achieving your savings goals. Another tip that I have for you is take a picture of a goal something you want after your credit card debt free, for example, a vacation or any purchase that would bring you joy, take a picture of it and put it somewhere that will motivate you to keep going. If you're ever tempted to overspend, you look at that picture and you're like, nope, I'm not doing it. If you tend to emotionally want to purchase something because you're having a bad day and you feel like you deserve it or you need it in order to feel better, you look at that picture and you're like, nope, I'm not doing it. A picture can literally change your perspective. I, for years, had the Disney castle <laughs> printed and put under my screen at work, so I wasn't tempted to eat lunch with my coworkers, order food constantly, going to the vending machine. I looked at that picture and it really helped me stay on track. And when you're feeling stressed about credit card debt, do something for you that's completely free. Go for a walk, go for a hike, listen to some music, meditate, do something to change the perspective and release the stress that you have. Sometimes when I'm really stressed, you know what I do? I work out. If I'm having a bad day at work, you know what I do? I work out. <laughs> and if I'm feeling stressed because of my kids or family or obligations or anything else, I go for a walk. I work out. I do something positive for myself that's free and that honestly gives me joy. I have a friend of mine who loves bubble baths and she has two kids and when she's stressed she schedules her bubble bath and that's her time alone and it's for her to de-stress there are things that you can do that are free and that can give you joy and fill your heart and that way it'll change your mind and let you know you know what debt is a part of life and i tell you sometimes when i'm feeling a little stressed it, generally in life i don't watch the news that night because I don't want to hear about another terrible thing that happened or anything else that's going to make me feel stressed. So if you need to tune out for a day, do it. I hope that these tips have helped you. And again, please go check out Jan from New York City Saves Money. Her channel link again is down below. She's fantastic. I know you're going to love her. And Jan, thank you so much for doing this collab with me. If you guys like this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on that bell. And if you like this video, you're gonna like these two right here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Take care, see you next week.